motherfucking Carl Williamson. Williamson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah, very well. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's give it up for Carmen. He's doing a great job, everybody. Excellent. Excellent. So, uh, how's everyone going? How's everyone doing? You guys have a few drinks tonight? Yes. I'm not the only one. <laughs> That's good. No, I, uh, I just turned 23 last month, and, uh, all right, we got a few 23-year-olds out there. Cool. We're coming up half year on our 10-year reunion, right? All right. <laughs> that fucking sucks. But uh, no, I uh, just turned 23, and uh, I realized something about 23 is that uh, I'm getting older, and that's inevitable. But uh, I realized that I'm 23, and I will never live long enough to fully understand women. And uh, this guy knows what I'm talking about. But uh, no, it's it's a problem, and uh, I don't know if it's completely your fault, women, but I blame it mostly on you. But uh, I may be just slightly awkward or slightly weird, but uh, I don't know, you know? It's like uh, my friends, they set me up. They try to set me up, and I appreciate it a little bit, but like their idea of having fun is uh, get me around a girl that's good looking, and then they just leave. And they leave the table and leave me alone with her to talk, which is great. And it's fun and it's great for everybody, but me and this poor little girl that has to sit with me because it takes me maybe on average 40, 45 seconds to come up with something good to talk about. So I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking, okay, holy shit, now I'm here alone. Exactly. What do I do? So I, I, I continue to think, and I try to, I try to say something, and it'll just come out fumbly. <laughs> How are you doing? You come here often? Of course you do, because you're an alcoholic like me. <laughs> you're perfect. No, but uh, I try to think of something good to say, and uh, I, know, I know 40, 45 seconds, it really doesn't seem like that long of a time, but I'm going to assure you that 40 to 45 seconds is just long enough to be awkward. And uh, I know this because it happens to me all the time. And that's how I know I'm awkward. But uh, the greatest thing to say is, how about them tigers? Because we live in Michigan. <laughs> all right. But five years ago, that would have been a horrible thing to say because nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about because like, the tigers, well, they, they suck. But now they're good and they're awesome. But uh, I don't know, I, I feel like it just, it stems from somewhere deeper. Like, my timing is just off. Like, I, I just think my whole entire timing is off. Like, for example, the other day, I had some friends over, and we're, uh, we're playing some football. We're playing Madden 09, because we're kicking it old school, on the PS2, because we don't have a lot of money. And uh, we're playing video games, and I don't play very many video games. My, my roommate does, and all our friends do. I'm not very good at them, but uh, he hands me the remote control, and uh, the controller, if you will, and uh, it's a little greasy, a little oily, but uh, it's not no big deal, not a big deal. You know, I'm gonna wipe it off with my pants, not a big deal. So I grab it, I start to play. It's about 10, 10, 15 minutes, I start to play with it. And then I give it back to my roommate, and without missing a beat, whoa, 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 dude, this controller is so greasy. And I'm just like, holy shit, I should have said that. <laughs> my time and my timing's off now if I said oh it was like that when I, I when I got it but they won't believe that no one's, no one's gonna fucking believe that so now I have to live with that and I'm just the weird kid with the greasy hands that eats popcorn all day apparently you know but uh yeah, I don't know fucking a 23 that sucks I'm getting older Thanks. no I'm getting older I don't feel like I'm getting older. I look young. I get told that all the time. I look like I have a baby face, which kind of sucks because I get carded everywhere I go. <laughs> but it still makes me feel young, which is nice. But uh, no, I'm 23. I don't feel that young, but I, I still just feel like I, I can, if I could just go back 10 years, I was 13. <laughs> I didn't even worry. Holy shit, I didn't do my own laundry. I didn't cook for myself. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I wiped my own ass at that point, but I can't be certain. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was a good time. And I always remember going over to friends' houses. Friends' houses was fucking great, man. It was great. Getting away from your parents for a little while, and, and then they'd ask you, they'd always ask you that great question. Hey, do you want to stay for dinner? And I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> because you know that they were making something really good. You know, all oh, my parents are going to make filet mignon, and they're going to have baby back ribs smothered in barbecue sauce with mashed potatoes and corn on the cob, and it's going to be great. And then I'm just like, oh, yeah, oh, um, I didn't want to sound too enthused to say, so I'd be like, oh, yeah, I think I, think I could do that. And then they'd just be like, oh, well, what are you guys having? And I was stuck. Because <laughs> I knew what I was having. And it was grilled cheese. <laughs> so I didn't want to sound too desperate. So I had to make it sound good. And I was like, oh, well, uh, you know, uh, my dad, he was going to make his, uh, he was going to make his world famous grilled cheese. But uh, we were running low on craft singles, so we could wait till next week. We could wait till next week. No, but it was good. It was all right. I love my dad's world famous grilled cheese. But uh, anybody else? Uh, when I was sick, when I was younger, I had weird remedies. Uh, like milk toast? Anybody have milk toast out there? Not a single fucking person. All right. Perfect. So I can describe to you in detail what milk toast is. Okay, milk toast. You take a piece of toast. You understand that, right? Toast? Toast? Okay, toast. You put it in a toaster. And you click it down, and it, and it goes for a set amount of time until it's burnt as fuck, or it's not brown at all. It just, there's no in between, there's no brown, it's just burnt as fuck, or not cooked at all. And then you take that, either burnt as fuck or not cooked at all, and you put it inside of a pan, and you turn that pan on low, on low heat. So simmer, simmer if you will. And then you put some milk into that, because that's the first thing you think of when you think of warm pan, is add milk to bread in warm pan. But I'll tell you what, it cures a flu like fucking no other. I don't know what the chemical reaction to warm milk and bread in a pan is, but it fucking cures the flu, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you don't believe me? I'm still standing, so fuck. It worked. Uh, you guys, uh, anybody, you guys like impressions out there? Anybody like impressions? A few of you? Oh, just a few, okay. Well, uh, I do a few impressions, if you guys would like to hear a few. Alright, alright, I guess I could. But, uh, they're not great, but, uh, let's see here. Uh, prevalent right now, what's prevalent? Ah, uh, March Madness. We got March Madness going on. Anybody know of Dick Vitale? Anybody yeah, yeah. know? Right. All right, well, he's pretty much the voice of college basketball, if you haven't heard, and uh, he coached the Pistons for a couple years. If you don't know who he is, you can tell instantly when he comes on the air, because he sounds like the guy that's going to die in about 30 seconds when he talks. <laughs> oh, it's awesome, baby! It's March Madness, and I'm having a heart attack on here, it's so great! Oh, shit, call the ambulance! No, seriously, I'm having a fucking heart attack out here! <laughs> Yeah, that's my Dick Vitale. Uh, I do a couple others. My second one is I get pretty nervous about doing because uh, I don't know. I just I, I feel like uh, it's it's Jason Statham, by the way. I do that, and uh, I just I feel like one of these times he's just gonna catch me on YouTube, and I'm gonna get this phone call one day and be like, "My oh, life, you know who the fuck this is? <laughs> is this Jason Statham?" Well, you're right, it's Jason Statham, mate. You're like, what the, what the hell are you doing calling me? She's like, I saw your little bit online there, and I didn't find it fight. I didn't find it quite funny. So I'll tell you what, you got four or five days to pull that video offline, and if I don't kill you by the end of the fifth day, I'll let you keep it up, huh? <laughs> what do you, well, I mean, what do you say to that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jason Statham, the guy kills people all the time, you know, but. Uh, I try to do a Christopher Walken. It's okay. <laughs> and I, I gotta level with you folks. I, I, I do it. 
settle down, please. <laughs> no, I, mean, uh, I, I do it much better in front of a mirror on my own than in front of uh, you folks. <laughs> That's a squeaky floor. <laughs> it wasn't me, I swear. But uh, no, uh, if you want, I'll give it a go. I don't really, uh, I didn't really plan for this, but uh, I didn't plan. <laughs> okay, I didn't plan for this, but. Uh... Hey, the walking is really, it's one of a kind, really, when you stop, think about it for a second or two, really, one, two seconds, really, just think about it for a second. <laughs> First, you take the tone and you get it right, uh, specifically. And then you get the monologue to here and there and back again. And then, whoa, hey, check it out. He's doing walking, you know? <laughs> no, but uh, I'm 23 years old. I've been starting to set up a bucket list. Um, <laughs> It's never too young. It's never too young. Um, right now, I got uh, skydiving. I, uh, thank you. It sounds like a few of you are interested in that. Uh, scuba diving is, is one of them. Uh, wedding crashing, that's one I want to give a go. None of my friends are getting married, though, which kind of sucks, because I, I really, I'm looking for some open bars. So if any of you guys are getting married, I just like to drink for free, so... All right. I've done 10 shows and no one's given me an invitation. No. Just kidding, obviously. Cartman said this is my second time, so you guys know I'm a liar. <laughs> I should be a lawyer, but uh, I'm not that good in front of people. But uh, no, I, uh, I just, I think skydiving would be pretty fun. Um, I've had a lot of friends who've done it. They've loved it. They said it's great. But you know, I just, uh, I gotta wonder, like, what if something goes wrong? What if my shoe doesn't open? You know, what if I shit myself? <laughs> These are all wonders that I have. And although I, I really, I just want to do it, I, I don't know if I can get myself to go up in a plane. But the local, there's a local place around here. It's Harbor Springs, Harbor Springs Skydive. And uh, I'm giving them a shout out, even though I love to make fun of them. But uh, their motto is, we have a great success rate. <laughs> I fucking hope so. You're throwing the guy out of a fucking plane. Your success rate better be a hundred. No, your success rate better be a hundred and ten percent. I better be healthier when I jump out. Of <laughs> uh, that's all my time, guys. Uh, thank you very much. You guys are great.